Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, finally. A um, little bit of where the heck have I been? Uh, I got a cold. I literally sat down to film three Thursdays ago and I just even couldn't do it. Um, it was that cold that's like kind of going around I think right now that isn't the COVID, but it is a cold. Uh, but it's, um, like it starts off as a thro sore throat and then that goes away after a couple of days and then you're just completely tired and your nose is runny. I slept for like two and a half weeks, basically. <laughs> That's where I've been. Um, but yes, the hiatus <clears throat> was not on purpose. As you can tell, I'm still, uh, even though I am feeling way better, I'm going to be drinking a lot of water this, uh, video. But yes. Um, that is where I've been. I want to say, I don't know if I ever needed to say this. I don't know if I need to say this. Um, but just so you all are aware, my book videos are probably not child friendly. Um, I don't put that in, like, I don't put the warning on there that this video isn't made for kids. But just so you know, I'm an adult. I read adult books. If you don't know, I'm 25. <laughs> I've never said that before. I never needed to say that before. Uh, it just is what it is. So just so everyone is aware, I make adult video. I make videos about books that the genre are like in the adult demographic. That sounds wrong. But also it's not wrong all the time. Do with that what you will. Um, there's not going to be a knitting podcast this month because, again, I am exhausted still, um, but it is what it is. Um, probably, if you didn't know, I don't think I've announced my new update schedule that's going to be starting January. Once a month, I'm going to have a knitting podcast. It's going to be the second week of the month. First week of the month is going to be book-related. Third week of the month is going to be book-related. Uh, second week knitting podcast, fourth week, going to be something else. Uh, I haven't decided yet. This month, there's only going to be a couple videos, I think. So this week and next week, probably going to be book related videos. And then the last week of the month, um, the fourth week, Christmas, family is going to be here. I'm not going to have time to film that week. Um, don't even know if I'm going to have time to film next week either. My family is very Christmassy. As you can tell, um, this isn't even half of it that you can see. But yes, I have some reading plans. I did not do a lot of reading uh, of published novels uh, in my sick weeks. I read a crap ton of Assassin's Creed fan fiction. I don't know if I said that before in my last video or not, but I've been reading so much Assassin's Creed fan fiction, it's actually a little concerning to me. I don't, like, I read fanfic, I read a lot of fanfic, but I think I read almost a hundred, almost exclusively, Assassin's Creed fanfics in the month of November. That was just a Twitch notification. But I have been really wanting to read. I feel like I'm in a reading mood, but also a reading slump at the same time. And so, um, yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about what I did manage to read in the weeks that I haven't been filming and go from there and then talk about my reading plans until I have new reading plans because TBRs are very come and go for me. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so what I did manage to read is nothing. I didn't manage to read a single published thing while I was sick. Um, the day before I was sick, I started an audiobook series. Um, I don't know if I've said this before or not. I don't really enjoy audiobooks. They're not usually something that I can get into. I enjoy podcasts, uh, very certain podcasts, really only the Morbid podcast. But, um, I've been really, really enjoying, um, the Murderbot Diaries. So I started the first, I listened to the entirety of the first one the day before I got sick. And then the next day I started the second one, but as I kept getting sicker and I kept getting sicker throughout the day, I couldn't even concentrate on it. Like I couldn't concentrate on 
anything. So I didn't read anything in the two or three weeks that I was sick at all. Um, I, besides Assassin's Creed fan fiction, that's it. I didn't do anything else. Um, I slept and I read again, Assassin's Creed fan fiction, and that was it. Um, I don't give fanfic recs. Um, if anybody is really interested, I, my bookmarks are not private on Archive of Our Own, but it's fanfiction. I don't know what, I mean, fanfiction is good, but <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to know exactly what fanfiction I read. Um, right, so I didn't, that was it. That's all I did. Um, but these past couple of days, I have continued the Murderbot Diary series. I'm on the fourth book. I'm about to start the fourth book today. I've just been turning them on while I do my chores and it's been, or chores, the housework. And then it's been awesome and I've been loving it. I don't know what I'm going to do, going to do when the series is over because there's six audiobooks on Libby. Um, but yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be doing uh, short sci-fi books on audio for a while now and it's been lovely. It's been lovely. Um, so yes, that's it. I've read the first three of the Murderbot Diaries and I really enjoyed them. So far, every book has been a 4.75 stars. It is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. It's good. I like it. <laughs> okay. My reading plans. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about my reading plans. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible because I don't have a lot of filming time right now. I need to go through and delete past videos. But, um... There's a lot of books right in front of me right now, and I don't plan on getting to all- I do plan on getting to all of them, but this isn't going to be like a weekly TBR. This is just going to be like, uh, this is kind of what I'm wanting to get to, and when I do, I do. <clears throat> so first and foremost, I have a library book that I have started and haven't finished, um, and I really would like to finish this. This is The Dinosaur Lords. Um, my sister said it has mixed reviews, but <laughs> I got the second one from Half Price Books. I don't know if you guys remember that from my book haul. Um, I got the second one from Half, Pri Half Price Books, and I want to read the first one. Um, some people really, really like it. Some people don't like it at all, and I will give you my opinion on that. I'm only, I don't know, I think I'm like 30 pages in. Yeah, I'm 34 pages in. Um, so far, why is there so much dinosaur pee? But, other than that, the, the narrator is like, everything smells like pee, always. And I'm like, gross. You're on a battlefield, can't you think about anything else? <clears throat> it, it is what, <laughs> it's fine. I'm, besides that, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. But, again, I'm only a few pages in. And, um, I haven't been able to concentrate on it. But that is kind of what I'm hoping to stick to. Okay, other than that, when I'm in a reading slump, something surefire way to get me out of it is some manga. So I've picked up a couple of manga. Um, first off, the next volume of Bloody Mary, cheesy vampire romance. What more can I say about it? This is the series that I completed this year. I own all of them and I really want to finish the series. I want to read it because I've only read, I think, the first four volumes. It's not a long series. There's only ten. Um, so, yes. Very excited to get to this next volume because I'm pretty sure this is where we start getting into the story while the first one kind of left it on a cliffhanger that started the story a little bit. And I was like, ooh, this is actually interesting um, and not just cheesy and weird. So, yeah. Very excited to uh, read this. Um, I remember liking where the plot was going when I left off a couple years ago, and I really want to see where this ends. Yes, so that's the other one. The other thing, oh, and I uh, already have my tabs picked out. This one's going to be in light blue. Um, yes, the other manga that I have that I'm thinking I'm going to finally read that I've owned for years and I'm not really sure about it is I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. 
Um, from everything that I know, this is a bittersweet kind of romance manga. <clears throat> um, is the yellow stain on the back of it part of it? Yes. Okay. Um, I, when I picked this up, the lady at the front said, if you're excited to read this, you should read your name. And I went, oh no, because from everything that I know about that manga is that I wouldn't like it. <laughs> it's not really my style. But after years of owning this and going, I should get rid of that. I should get rid of that. I should get rid of that. I never did. And I'm like, if I'm going to own this, I should flip and read it. So yes, I'm hopefully going to pick this up and read it sometime within the next few weeks. Um, that's the goal anyways, besides Dinosaur Lords, is to really read those two manga. <clears throat> uh, next, well, no, this is my real goal, I guess I should say. Um, but manga and physical and novels are very different in my brain. I can get through a manga in half an hour, uh, a couple of hours. So, yes. Uh, these are my true goals along with Dinosaur Lords is to finish books that I started in November when I was in a reading slump and I couldn't read anything. This first book is going to be my goal to read after Dinosaur Lords because Dinosaur Lords is a library book and I need to get it returned. <clears throat> but this is Elantris by Brandon Sanderson, which I am actually really enjoying. I'm really enjoying this book, but you want to see this? Can you guess how many pages into this book I am? Just think about it for a second. Two seconds. Okay. I am, I am 116 pages into this 600 page book. This book is 600 pages long. I'm going to compare that. Not to this one. Um, Dinosaur Lords. Dinosaur Lords is probably, what is it? Dinosaur Lords is just over 400 pages long. I think it said it was 430 pages. This book is taking me forever. And when I'm enjoying a book, I like to see the progress go. And so seeing, you know, how slow this is taking me is really dampening my reading mood. But... I am enjoying this book. I am genuinely enjoying this book. Um, and I, it's taking me forever. Yeah. But hopefully I'm going to finish it because again, I'm actually genuinely enjoying it. Uh, so yeah. And then the other major goal is I started Ready Player One. I don't know if I talked about that in a past video. Um, I'm blanking. Um, I think I'm only, I'm only 36 pages into this. I started it when I was in a little bit of a reading slump, decided, oh, I want to read fantasy right now and put it aside. Um, but I'm actually enjoying it. The floppiness of the paperback is actually adding to the reading experience. So I really do want to read this book. Um, but this might be like between Christmas and New Year's read for me. Um, even though my sister is saying, oh, we're going to watch Christmas movies past Christmas. We never do, but maybe we will this year. Yes. And then the other thing that I kind of want to talk about, um, which is silly because I'm not even starting it yet, but, uh, January reading plan. I'm finishing to sleep at, to sleep in a sea of stars because it is... I started it in January. I haven't picked it up in like two or three months. No, not January, August. Um, I started it in like August or September. I can't even remember. And it's been months and I haven't picked it back up, but I'm like 300 pages into that book. And so I'm going to hopefully in January finish that. The other thing that I want to start in January <clears throat> is I want to go through uh, this book. I've had this book for over a year now. My sister got it for me for my birthday last year. Um, I want to go through this book and I want to read all the short stories uh, very slowly and I want to tab them. I even have a tabbing system in my head already. Um, so the blue is just going to be for every short story and then if it's a yellow one, it's one that I really enjoyed. 
Um, I'm really looking forward to this. I love the idea of short stories, but then when I go in to read them, I never do. So yes, I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be something that takes me a few months and I'm really looking forward to that. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, that's kind of my reading plans for January. That was long, long winded, probably twisty turny. My ADHD took over a little bit. Um, hopefully by the next time we see each other, I will have finished Dinosaur Lords and I will probably have finished the entirety of the Murderbot Diaries series as it is now. Um, again, I'm probably starting the fourth one today, uh, w this afternoon, and I know that that was the original end of the series, so I'm expecting to cry because... Even though I don't normally cry while reading a book, I literally almost cried last night when I finished the third one. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's it. Thank you for watching watching this video. Um, hopefully it made a little bit of sense. Again, sadly, no knitting podcast this month, but there will be one next month. And it's probably going to be really long because I'm going to talk about everything that I made in 2020. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope my book rambling made you want to read some books. Um, yeah. Bye.